This is SSPTV News, brought to you by Samsung Productions and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Cruisin' in downtown Hazleton first Friday features the annual downtown car cruisin'. We have a preview next. Hello everyone and thank you for your time on this summer day. I'm Ken Carr with your information from SSPTV and the Hazleton Standard Speaker. Tonight is the deadline for victims of child sexual abuse within the Diocese of Scranton to file an abuse claim. Survivors who have not reported abuse have until midnight tonight to register. The allegation must also be reported to the District Attorney's Office in writing. So far, the Diocese of Scranton has paid out approximately $7 million to 44 survivors of clergy sex abuse through the Independent Survivors Compensation Program. For more information, log on to Scranton Diocese ISCP.com. Again, the deadline to file an abuse claim in the Scranton Diocese is tonight at midnight. This Friday will be a busy one in downtown Hazleton. It's first Friday for the month of August, and there are many events on the schedule, ranging from a Hazleton history hour to theatrical performances, an art exhibit, a church picnic, and more. And one event that is always a crowd favorite is the downtown Hazleton Classic Car Cruisin'. Here's Lisa Sugar with the details. This Friday is First Friday in downtown Hazleton, but guess what? Another major event is also being held in conjunction with it, and that is the 2019 Downtown Hazleton Classic Car Cruise-In. This is a fun event and a great event. Mary Malone is president of the Greater Hazleton Chamber of Commerce. Are you excited? So many great cars coming to downtown this Friday. It really is, and I'm always amazed, Lisa, when you get to talk to uh, the owners of the vehicles and the history and the detail that goes into these cars. So it truly is a summer classic uh, that the downtown committee of the chamber um, has been running the car cruise in. This year, a little twist on what we've done before, we're gonna actually display the cars on two different lots in the downtown area. Each of them will have live entertainment um, because as you said, there are other things going on at different venues for First Friday. So we're really combining things and there's sure to be something for everyone in the lineup. So the first location is going to be at the lot at Broad and Pine Street. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people remember it as where the Powell Furniture Store used to be. And we'd like to shout out and say thanks for uh, Bill Joyce for partnering with us and allowing us to use that space. And then the second one is on Pine and Chestnut Street, right behind or right next to the BB&T drive through there. Mm -hmm. And that's a combination and thanks to the city of Hazleton and Lackawanna College. All right, you have dash plaques, prizes. There's a lot going on. There is, and uh, another difference this year is rain or shine so it's in conjunction with first friday so we'll do it but i said we're hoping that that, that trend continues mm -hmm. um so from five o'clock we'll have the lots open and the welcome tent for people to come in um, from wyoming on to chestnut street there and then the actual cars will be displayed from six to nine and we usually do the prize poll somewhere um, around 8.30 or so. So that can be the people who have cars there, people who are just enjoying. And I know last year we had some people didn't have a car per se, but just brought their beach chair to listen to the music, get up and walk around and take a look at it. So again, just another fun night for the whole family in downtown Hazleton. And it's in conjunction with First Friday, so there's a whole list of events at downtownhazleton.org. Uh, so you can get that list of all the activities as well. And you wanted to stress too, Broad Street not being blocked off this time. Correct. So Broad Street will be open for regular, it's regular traffic. Um, we'll have the section of Pine Street from Chestnut down to Pine um, blocked off. But again, safety for everyone and uh, to gain the, the maximum enjoyment. And, um, and you know, Jimmy's Hot Dogs, is right across the street from that, that lower lot. So you know that Jimmy's and Frankie's and the Pines will all be um, open and participating as well. That's a great thing. When you go to First Friday, you go and then you end up at one of the great restaurants, one of the eateries, so many to pick from. So come on out this Friday for the 2019 Downtown Hazleton Classic Car Cruise In. It's happening from six to nine in conjunction with First Friday. A lot happening, hope to see you there. Thank you, Lisa. And tomorrow night on SSP TV News, we'll have more on the other activities taking place during First Friday in downtown Hazleton. You can find the complete list at downtownhazleton.org.
I always say thank you for watching when we start the show, and I feel like some people think I don't actually mean it. So here's another giveaway to prove it. Call us now at 570-455-7267, extension 108, to enter to win a gift card to Booty's Place in the Churchill Mall. To enter, we need your full name, phone number, and today's secret word, which is Alfredo, like the sauce. You can't enter without it. The winner will receive a $15 gift card to Booty's Place, quality homemade food made to order. You can only win once every 30 days on SSP TV. Time now for weather on SSP TV News. My buddy Joe Chunko took this picture of the moon rising in Galeton, Pennsylvania, just outside of Cherry Springs Dark Sky Park. Here's our forecast for tonight. No clear skies, showers and thunderstorms likely. Mostly cloudy, we'll have a low of 61 degrees, 60% 60 chance of precipitation. Then on Thursday, the sun comes out. We'll have a high of 80 degrees, mostly clear on Thursday night with a low of 60. 20% 20 chance of showers and thunderstorms on Friday, a mostly sunny day, high of 79. At night for first Friday, 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Mostly cloudy though, low of 61. Up to a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Partly sunny, high of 78. Partly cloudy at night, lows in the lower 60s. Mostly sunny on Sunday, high of 79. Sunday night, mostly clear, low of 58 degrees. Yesterday I was charged with an error when I forgot to create a graphic for the NL Central standings. My bad, let's move past it as a team on the SSB TV standard speaker scoreboard. Paul Goldschmidt broke a 1-1 tie in the seventh inning as the Cardinals beat the Cubs 2-1. With the win, St. Louis takes over first place in the NL Central. Tonight's game between the Cubs and the Cardinals is at 8.15 p.m. The Brewers fell to two games back in the standings. They lost to the A's on Monday. Coming up, the Dream Game is a longtime high school tradition up in Lackawanna County. We'll see what makes it so special in sports. And next, we meet a family who has deep roots in a local church's annual festival. They share some of their stories with our Lisa Sugar after this break. Watch SSP TV in Scranton Saturday and Sunday from 8 a.m. until noon on Comcast Cable Channel 190. Good evening, everyone. Here's today's Talk of the Town. The Tamaqua Public Library annual book and bake sale will be held this Saturday from 9 a.m. until 2 p.m. The items on sale will begin at just 10 cents. For more information, you can call the library at the number on your screen. Eckley Miners Village will be having their Time Warp Weekend and their annual Swing Dance this Saturday and Sunday at the Village in Freeland Park Pavilion. For more information, you can call the number on your screen or visit EckleyMinersVillage.com. The Liberty War Bird Association will be flying in a Vietnam era flying Huey helicopter into the Hazleton Airport this Saturday at 11 a.m. The event is free and open to the public. Anyone wishing to get a flight can buy a membership for $80. And two communities in our area will be celebrating National Night Out on Tuesday, August 6th. Cunningham Borough Crime Watch will have their event from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Cunningham Borough Grounds. And the West Hazleton Neighborhood Crime Watch will also have their event at the same time at the West Hazleton Community Center Grounds. And that's today's Talk of the Town. SPTV News would like to send sincere condolences to the family and friends of Alice A. Faust of Hazleton. A graveside service will be held Friday at 9 a.m. at St. John's Lutheran and United Church of Christ Cemetery. The Butler Chapel of the Crofton News Funeral Home is in charge of arrangements. Today's social and obituary report is brought to you by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory. Call 570-788-0977 or go to harmonfuneral.com.